hello everyone you all are welcome on my youtube channel so today we have a question from circle which is also known as unseen theorem which is maximum times repeated in SAE and you can score four to five marks on this type of question okay let's have a start a b c d is a square you can see this diagram a b c d is a, a b c d is a square and a f e a f e is a triangle in which a f and a e a f and a e also equal given here both inscribed in the circle prove that f e f e f and b d b d these two we have to show parallel to show that parallel we have to focus either inscribing uh, alternate or corresponding or going here like this so, and maximum we have to focus how to show angles are alternate if we saw angles are alternate definitely these two are parallel for this i am going to join uh, construction i'm going to join de let's join d e now if we saw this angle and this angle are equal it means alternate alternate means this two are parallel now we have to show these two angles are equal we have to think you have to make plan first then only you have to start in unseen theorem you have to make plan to show these two are parallel we have to show these two are equal to show these two are equal what we have to do in front of this this arc and this arc we have to show equal arc also we can show df and be arc we have to show equal how to show these two are equal means like this we have to go step by step okay let's have a start given a b c d is a cyclic square which is inside circle so i wrote a cyclic square and a f e is a triangle where a f and a e both are equal to prove what we have to prove here e f parallel b d we have to prove this construction what we have to join join d e we have to join d e and after this we have to draw table which where we can so a statement and reason both statement reason okay now look at properly here a f and a e both the lines are equal if these two sides are equal we can say a f arc a f and arc a e also equal in number one i'm going to prove this by arc then after arc uh, angle and after angle we can say parallel I told you before we have to show arc df and be are equal so we can write arc af is equal to arc a reason being af and ae are equal sides are equal so arc also equals arc number two ed is equal to ab AD or BC BC AB number two AD BC B, AD AB BC CD all are equal because ABCD is a square so AD is equal to AB we can write sides of square in number three we can write ad is equal to ab same 
when sides are equal then arc also equal bin ad is equal to ab in number 4 now i'm going to subtract mm, statement 1 and 3 so af minus ad is equal to a minus a b sorry a b so in number 4 we can write subtracting statement 3 from statement 1 so when you subtract a f a f minus a d we get d f d f is equal to when you subtract a e a e arc a e minus a b we get b e b e now, now statement number five we can write from statement four number six when arc equal in front of this arc equal arc substance equal angle so we can write in front of df this angle and in front of be this angle these two also equal so we can write here def is equal to angle bde statement number six equal r substance equal angle okay arc equal then equal arc substance equal angle now in number seven two angles are equal i told you this two are equal it means this two are parallel so we can write here ef parallel bd what is the reason here in number seven being alternate being alternate angle hope you understand this term uh, if you are new please subscribe my channel like share thanks for watching till last